So um, I'm now measuring a low pass filter. It's on our network metrology training kit PCB. Um, I've narrowed my span to uh, three gigahertz, so 300 kilohertz to three gigahertz. Uh, this is my uh, S11 plot. This is uh, my VSWR. This is S21 log mag. Uh, S21 in the time domain. It's a pulse response that we might expect from a low pass filter. Uh, and then I've got a Smith chart here showing uh, S11 and S22. And um, if I simply touch the you can see my uh, measurements are live. Uh, can we make some measurements on this? Well, yes, of course, we've already seen. We've got uh, the cursor here that can uh, uh, identify uh, the level of a measurement and the frequency at which it's occurring. Let's move that to around about minus three and control click. And we've added a, um, a marker. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is move that marker right back here to the start, and then I'm going to add another one, and another one. Uh, and now I've got three, three markers measuring the response of the low-pass filter. Um, what I want to do is uh, edit that marker and turn it into a reference marker, and then I'm going to measure my flatness on marker two and marker three. So I've now grouped those markers. S, uh, marker one is my reference, so we've called this marker one. Uh, it's making its measurement there. And you can see here, I've got the absolute measurements of S21 uh, on uh, the two markers, two and three, and the deltas uh, with respect to um, marker one. I can drag markers quickly to wherever I want to place them. There we go. Let's get let's get some measurements here. Uh, boom and boom. Let's place myself another ref. I'm going to create another group here. We're going to place marker six up there at the same point. Uh, marker six. Convert that to a reference and uh, group it with uh, four and five. And so I'm now measuring in uh, group six, I'm measuring marker four and five with reference uh, to marker six, and that's in the same place as marker one. So quite quickly here, I'm getting up an array of measurements. Um, I can configure the group uh, to show any measurement that I want. Uh, so let's add a phase and group delay uh, to that group. And let's add, um, oh, let's go mad, shall we? Real, imaginary, group delay. Um, you can see here I'm very rapidly indeed. Uh, and without regard to the trace that I'm currently measuring on, so these are markers on S21, uh, but I've brought up the measurements uh, of group delay, real and imaginary, degrees, whatever I want. So, uh, and I'm very, very quickly configuring each of my markers uh, to do that. If I've got too much clutter, I can simply hide markers. There you are, that's hidden four, five, and six, they've disappeared from display, uh, but of course, they're still there should I want to recall them. Um, likewise, let's mark a, let's put something on here, uh, and on marker seven, which we'll, we'll just configure that to show us a magnitude phase, VSWR. Notice with VSWR, uh, it's placed marker seven on VSWR simply because uh, that is currently being displayed. And if I pick some of these over here, group delay, resistance, capacitance, impedance, uh, real and impedance imaginary are my choices. So rather more measurement types that I can get on a reflection measurement as you might expect. 
uh, and they're all there at the bottom of my scrolling list. And I can quickly, if I want to, disappear those so that I can focus on marker seven. Any marker, I can type in um, a precise frequency here that I want to measure at, uh, or I can uh, scroll uh, uh, along the measurement points, so that the marker is actually locked to measurement points. Uh, and I can change, of course, what that marker is uh, measuring. And if I had up some memory traces, let's get some memory traces, shall we? Just uh, save that to memory and then save that to memory and there we are. So now I've got some memory traces up um, and I can uh, simply, if I wish to, move uh, any marker to any of the traces that I now have available. So very, very flexible indeed, very fast, hardly touching a menu at all. Uh, we're just, uh, um, we're simply and quickly getting the measurements that we want for the application that we're working on. Um, let's put some markers on the time domain. There we go, I, so I could drag that one down here. And I could drag that one up here. Whoops, too high. Drag it to there. And uh, T1, let's make that a reference. T2, group it with T2. And you might be able to see there, I've got absolute and delta measurements of time and amplitude uh, uh, on T1 to T2. So I can make rise time measurements on the pulse um, that, I've, uh, uh, th uh, that I've got in my time domain plot here. And there you are, comprehensive marker measurements um, on as many plots and as many memory traces as you wish to display. Oh, and I should just show you that, shouldn't I? I should just show you that if I add, uh, if I add a plot now, uh, display, uh, display, uh, let's add several more plots. And they instantly have all of the same um, memory traces available. So all the, uh, all the traces have been updated here, uh, I can, of course, reconfigure those uh, and I can focus on whatever I wish to focus on in a given plot. Markers.